Aloha, and welcome to the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. I am your host, Gwendolyn Harris. Since the beginning of March, the world has been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. This virus has completely shut down everything from restaurants, retailers, movie theaters, beaches, gyms, the tourist industry, and the entertainment industry. Today, my guest is a comedian, singer, actor, and songwriter. He has appeared on BET's Comic View, Comedy Central, and Showtime at the Apollo, just to name a few. He has also appeared on stage with recording artists such as the late Luther Vandross, Roger Troutman, Anita Baker, Lettucey, Frankie Beverly, and Mays, and the list goes on. I am so happy to interview him today. Please welcome Jammin' Jay Lamont, also known as the Human iPod. Hey, Jay, hey, how are hey, you? Hey, 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 aloha. Are you, how you doing? Aloha, how are you? I'm doing great. Just hanging in there, just like everybody else, uh, just staying safe. I, I was listening to that intro when you said aloha. I was, I was, I was going to give you a little music background. Bam, 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 bam. I was going to do this. Bam, bam, bam. I said, let me calm down. <laughs> so as you as as you see for the viewers and stuff, Jay <laughs> is a comedian. And I wanted to interview you just because of everything that has gone on right now that has mm -hmm. been going on since March, that has yeah. brought the entertainment industry to a halt. But mm -hmm. before we do that, I want people that do not know you, that or may not have have heard of you and mm -hmm. you're missing something if they haven't, mm -hmm. how did you get your start as a comedian and singer? Well, it's uh, it actually started as uh, as far as well for me, music is my background. Mm -hmm. So I actually started in music, and really my plan at the time was I wanted to be a musician. I wanted to get into the music business. Um, and as as fate would have it, at the time that I was in high school, I all you know I think like any kid as a kid, you always say, well, what do I want to be when I grow up? What do I you know what do I dream about? What are your dreams, your goals? And so I said, you know what, I think I might want to be a singer. Uh, cause I, you know, as growing up, I was singing in, in the church, uh, you know, my father who was a pastor, my father passed the church. My mother was, was a musician. So she played for the choir. So I think from that, you know, with being around my mother, with her playing and stuff like that, it had a big effect on me. And so she actually was the one that actually taught me how to, how to sing certain chords or how to harmonize and everything like that. So it really, it really played a part into my life. And at the time that I got in high school, I was kind of a class clown, if you will. I wasn't I wasn't the class clown of the school, but I was kind of like a class clown where I would joke about things. And that's kind of when I started doing impersonations because I would listen to the radio at home, whatever I heard on the radio, whoever was singing, I would just pantomime those singers. But at the same time, but I would always imitate those singers based upon the musical, the musical influence that I had. Uh, so that I kind of took that to the stage and I think I was probably in the 10th or 11th grade. And a couple of my classmates who I did not know at the time played instruments. I mean, this is a talk about talent in my, our high school. They decided to get involved with this talent show that we had planned. Mm -hmm. And of course they didn't have no singer. They, they, they don't now, now those, these guys don't sing. You know, we had one guy, one of my classmates, one of my neighbors, he um, played, played guitar. Another guy played bass. One guy who lived not far from me in my neighborhood played the organ for his church. So they brought him on as a keyboard player. Uh -huh. So they said, Jay, we need you, man. We need you because because all around school, when I would always sing, I would sing to the girls. So all the girls that walk by, and really, and what's so funny, my nickname at the time, if they didn't, if they couldn't remember my name, they say hi, radio. Radio was my nickname. <laughs> they said, man, we're radio, man. Man, we need radio. Get radio over here. So I was always blushing when the girls walk by. Hi, radio. Hey, sing to me, radio. So I'd be singing Michael Jackson and Prince, and I'd be doing some cameo confunction, you know. When I first saw you, you had sparkle in your eye. They'd be like, oh, girl, you sound good. Give me your phone number. So I'm now I'm being, it's like, now that's fine. I'm being bombarded by the girls asking for my number. And a lot of times, it's so funny, because I remember times a girl, one girl that liked me, she would call me up, and she'll say, sing to me. And I'd be saying, and she'll be on the phone screaming, hold on, I'm going to call my other girlfriend. So they'll click, click on the other line to call another girl and have me sing to them and imitate somebody. If their friend started screaming more than the girl that called me first, they'd be like, okay, that's enough. That's enough, Jay. Okay, girl, I'll call you back because he's singing to me first. He sung to me first. Okay. You know, so, but, <laughs> but, but no, I, no, but I was, but it was something about that talent show. So we decided to do a concert in our, our auditorium. But it was actually a talent show where they were looking for a couple of acts to do something. So I was reluctant at first, but a lot of my friends said, no, man, you need to get on this talent show, man. You will turn it out. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So that was really my first time, I think, when I realized, okay, I think I might want to do this as a profession. So I think, what did I sing? A song, a song by DeBarge. Remember DeBarge? Yes. And the song, the name of the song was All This Love. And I think there was a girl, I think I sung it with this girl. It was like a duet. And so I, I remember I had the mic and I'm nervous because the, I mean, the auditorium was packed. All my mm -hmm. classmates, all the kids and some of our teachers. So that was the first time that they saw me on stage. So when, as soon as I said, I had some problems. I mean, I mean, they just scream. Girls, I never in my life could I have imagined females screaming at me. So, uh -huh. I, so that's what that's what all of a sudden your ego just skyrockets. You know your psyche, like, oh man, I think I might want to do this. So you know, but but then later on in college, uh, you know, we would do a lot a lot of concerts in the auditorium because I met a lot of guys. I met a couple of guys in college mm -hmm. who I wind up being good friends today. So we wind up putting a band together. And so the plan was, um, we were going to just put a group together and record some demos and see if we can get a record deal, put out an album, get a record deal. So as of right now, there's like maybe four, four to 500 demos in the studio of tracks that we did with my vocals on it. And okay. so hopefully one day we'll be able to get that stuff out and maybe, you know, maybe re-record some, you know, some stuff. I just happened the other day just to talk to some of my former band members and we've been thinking about maybe doing like, maybe regrouping and putting something out later on. Mm -hmm. But at the time I said, well, you know what, if this doesn't work out, I may give comedy a try as a plan B. Comedy was plan B for me at that time. Uh, plan A was music. And plus, I was studying broadcasting in college. I was a DJ. Of course, a lot of folks don't know that. I did radio for like eight or nine years. So I have broadcast experience. And uh, At HBCU, I may add. I, I went to, to an HBCU. University. Proud graduate of Langston University in Oklahoma. <laughs> the, only, the only HBCU in the state of Oklahoma. So go LU Lions, LU Lions. Um, <laughs> And, um, but, uh, no, but, but I had said, and I told the guys, I said, if things don't work out with this, cause you know, it, it, it didn't really, um, th it wasn't too successful as far as us trying to get a record deal because the folks that we were meeting at the time didn't really live up to what we thought they were going to do. Mm -hmm. So a lot of, uh, some of the guys, you know, in the band, you know, everybody just went their separate ways during that time. Some guys got married, had families and stuff like that, got regular jobs. But we had said, you know, if the time comes, if we know when the right time comes, where something will jump off, y'all let us know. And they and they even said, Jay, you do your thing, man. You funny and everything, man. Show your talent, man. Matter of fact, and it was really, it was really through them that I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to do a comical act where I can incorporate all the other talents that I have. I'm going to make you laugh. I'm going to do impersonations of stuff that I used to, that I was doing growing up. Mm -hmm. But I'm and I'm gonna sing to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some singing in there too. Kind of give you. It was kind of like my way of doing something that's off the cuff. Kind of like a yes. one man one man variety show. And that's when things just kind of kind of just. Uh, took off uh, unbeknownst to me you know I remember getting a phone call from a producer from BET's Comic View mm -hmm. you know because we were told at the time I went I was working in Houston Texas at a radio station and we were told of a new show that was getting ready to come on BET called Comic View and they needed some artists and so people said Jay you need to be on you need to get on this show so I, my first time on television is when I did Comic View that took off. Then I got a phone call from someone from Showtime at the Apollo. So I flew to New York my first time in New York doing Apollo. That took off. And, you know, that was one of those moments where you're scared. You see this you, you, this crowd. And like they say, if you don't bring your A game, they will boo you off the stage. Yes, they will. Yes, and they will. For some reason, for some reason, that didn't happen. They liked what I was doing. They were like, who is this dude? Got a standing O, got two standing O's. Um, one of the times I did it, Deaf Comedy Jam, then show after show so it was unbelievable so here i am now and you've done a lot because when i saw you it was last year you were at you were the entertainment for a convention i was attending oh yeah that's right i forget i, I remember and, yeah <laughs> yeah yep. yes and um for my viewers he is if you have not seen jay he is hilarious just like he says he is like a one man comedy show he'll take you on that ride from old school <laughs> old school music mix some comedy in there. <laughs> i mean he he just does everything but jay mm -hmm. the question the question that i want to ask you because it's really big today really big and 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 this is why i wanted to interview you, is with this pandemic that's mm -hmm. going on it has put a stop to the entertainment industry like yep. literally stopped you know, yep, it's been yes shut it has. down. It has been shut down. Yeah. Um, yep. What have you been doing 
uh, to make ends meet, basically, because I know you were supposed to come to Hawaii and we had to, we had oh, the, man. April the 24th, you were supposed to be here. Don't, don't remind me, don't remind and, me. I'm, <laughs> I'm still sick about that. I'm sick. And we yeah. had to postpone the show, but you will be coming. We just have to yeah. wait for all of this um, to clear. Um, yeah, yeah. But what have you been doing? Because I know you and other artists, you know, gigs yeah. and things have been canceled. Yeah. yeah. What 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 have yeah. you been doing? And you know what's crazy about that, Gwen, is that I had to explain to certain friends. I mean, you know, and, and you know, the one thing about doing what we do, you know, as, as I've always been, I've always learned, you know, you don't want to tell everybody your business. You don't want Correct. to tell everybody the, the insides of what we deal with. But it's come to the point where we had we have to explain to some people. And uh, well, lately, so what I've been doing lately is I've been doing a couple of side side hustles that I've been doing all along. Uh, I've been writing music, so I'm taking some time out to uh, to listen to some tracks that my producer's been sending me. So I'm listening to some tracks for an upcoming uh, album that I'm going to be doing with with him, my my good friend Trey Balfour. So this is giving me time to write. Uh, and of course, like everybody else in the game, you know, we're doing what we're doing right now. Everything is going on online, digital, uh, doing virtual interviews. So I've been doing a couple of interviews here and there. What's uh, so funny? I just did a a virtual um, a private event for this lady who was honoring her mother for her birthday. So they booked me. So it's so it's almost like I'm working, it's like everybody else said, I'm working at home. So that's what I'm doing. I'm working at home doing shows online. And it was so funny because this one lady, she heard a lot about me. She seen me on YouTube and stuff like that. So she mm -hmm. booked me to come on live. All her family, everybody who had, a, had came on live to honor honor uh, their relative and her mother for, birth, for a birthday party. So she asked me to come on and do like a 10 minute performance. And, and she paid, me, you know, so I get so I get my in little income here and there. And when it comes to that, I'm selling merchandise on my website. Thank God I have merchandise because a lot of us don't. Um, and that's pretty much what's been going on, because the thing is, all the shows that I had lined up for um, March, April, you know, including Hawaii, uh -huh. some some other concerts I had to do. Some of them have been canceled. Others have been postponed. So like I was telling one friend the other day and he didn't realize he didn't realize it was like that with us. He said, man, I thought. I thought y'all had it going on or whatever. I said, well, I mean, you know, I, I, I kind of had to break it down to him. And he's like, oh, wow. So he felt so bad for me. So it, uh, so like I told him, I said, since they've shut everything down as far as social gathering, like I told him, social gathering also includes, you know, shows, concerts, when you go to a club or whatever, because what we do, and you know this, what we do, we, we perform in front of an audience, which is a social gathering. Mm -hmm. And because if we don't have that, then we can't work. And then what happens? So so it cuts off our income. So basically, I'm just doing what I'm doing right now. Just uh, like I said, doing virtual interviews, little performances. Sometimes I'll go on my live Facebook or Instagram and do like a little and live I see performance. You too. I see. Seen that? <laughs> and uh, it's been a blessing because I just go in there and just talk to the followers and they love it. I mean, I remember one time, one night I went on and everybody from all over were just hitting me commenting, man, you're so talented, man. I, I've been watching you all my life. So what I've been doing lately is going live. And just showing them what all I'm, what you know, what all I do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I might play, a, pull a track up, and sing a song. I've been featuring some of my, my new music that I've been doing, and people are shocked. They're like, "Man, I didn't know you did that. I didn't know you had mm -hmm. that." And and then it's got to the point where they'll they'll send donations too. I've had people send me tips on my Cash App, Venmo. Uh, it's been unbelievable. I've had classmates who hit who hit me up that I went to high school and college with. Uh, it, it it almost make it almost makes you tear up because they're like, "Hey, man, what you want me to sing? Man, I I, I got something for you." I've had some text me, check your inbox, check your cash app. I sent you something, man. It ain't much, you know. And and like I said, they're going on my website, ordering my merchandise since I have a DVD out and I've got my music on a hard copy CD. So well, we're going to talk about that. We're going to yeah. talk about that when we come back. But yeah. we have to go on a quick break, and we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha, I'm Keisha King, host of Crossroads in Learning on ThinkTech Hawaii. On Crossroads in Learning, our guest and I discuss all aspects of education here in Hawaii and throughout the country. You can join us for stimulating conversations to enrich, enliven, and educate. We are streamed live on ThinkTech bi-weekly at 4 p.m. on Mondays. Thanks so much for watching our show. We look forward to seeing you then. Aloha.
Aloha and welcome back to the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection with my funny, funny guest, Mr. Jam and Jay Lamont. Aloha. Jay. <laughs> Aloha. I liked it. Aloha. <laughs> yes. What if what if Barry White said that? Aloha. So I gotta get through this. <laughs> see, see, so I, got, see I have to. I, I'm, I'm just sitting there thinking to myself: if I was driving somewhere around Hawaii, and the if I, and just think if I got pulled over, brother gets okay. pulled over in Hawaii, how, do, uh -huh. how does the police greet you? Aloha, step out the car. <laughs> and they say aloha. Could you please step out the car? Okay, you're under arrest. Aloha. <laughs> Not that I want that to happen. No. I'm, sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Before, before we went on the before we went on our our quick break we were talking about the music industry and how mm -hmm. the pandemic has affected you know affected all the artists across mm -hmm. the board mm -hmm. so with that being said because no one expected anything like this to happen you know yeah. i i sure did yeah. i right. never thought right. in 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 this whole world that something like this would happen oh, what yeah. do you think the entertainment industry um can do better or could do or will do to better prepare you guys for something like this um in the future man i mean you know i think just just be creative you know it's, it's so funny because i ran into another uh, one of my comedian friends the other day at the post office because i was going to the post office to send off some packages of my merchandise people who were buying my stuff and so we were talking about that and i said man it isn't isn't it it's funny how this just doesn't happen to shut everybody down and i was telling him what i was doing he was telling me what he was doing he said man we just gotta have to be prepared be creative you know and it's so funny because once they shut this down i i started first thing i started i said okay let me start thinking what can I do? What can I do? I've got my merchandise. I've got the website. So I just started planning. I said, okay, let me start plugging my website more and more on my social media. Let folks know I do have merchandise. And all of a sudden, orders just coming in left and right. Orders coming in left and right. Okay, what can I do next? And then like I told him, I said, okay, something said, Jay, why don't you go live on your social media and just talk to your fans, you know, entertain them, you know, have some fun with them, do some, do a couple of things. Why don't you do some songs? That's why I said, you know, let me go off the cuff. And that kind of generated them to say, okay, let me go ahead and send him something because I know he's going through it, you know, and so it's like all those blessings are coming in. But I think it's just a situation of just being prepared. And, and now that we know what's going on now, now once they get this handled, we'll know what we'll be ready for the next time, you know, God forbid if this happens again, you know. So just, yes. I, I think like everybody, I was just, you know, even a, I have a musician friend, he's a bass player, same situation with him. He lost, he told me he lost over $5,000 worth of gigs. He had like five shows. He had five shows lined up for, I think, March and part of April, which was five grand altogether that he would have made. So that's down the drain. And so yeah. even even he and I were talking and I said, um, you know what, I'm just going to do some things. I'm just going to show all my talent, show all my creativity so folks will know what, what I really do and just put it out there. Because that's like I said, now, 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 we're, now it's come to this. Now everything is virtual. Everything is online, digital. Yes. And thank God. I mean, thank God we have this invention right here that we can do this. You know. Right. But do you think? Um, because we don't know how long this is going to last. I mean, right. we're still we still don't know when Hawaii is going to open up. They're saying one wow. day, stuff like that. But yeah. Um, and I saw somewhere on Facebook where they, and I think it's over in Europe somewhere where they're mm -hmm. doing like a um, a drive-in concert type thing have you seen that have you heard about that i think you know what i think i have heard about something like that you know and i and i think that's a good concept you know because you know they're even talking about maybe maybe re reinvent um reinventing the drive-in theaters because you know there's a lot right. of drive-in theaters across the country that's been vacant for years correct and, and everybody's like you know what let's open that back up because that's a good way of social distance you sit in your car correct. watch the movies do what yes. do what we used to do when I was a kid growing up. Yes. <laughs> I remember my big brother said, get back in the trunk so we ain't got to pay for you. So get in the trunk. Hide in the trunk. Be quiet. Wait, that's this how this is how we are. Be quiet. Stay back. Like, don't say that. I'm going up to the I'm going up to the office now. Okay. Let me get two tickets. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh, yeah. Let me get two social distance tickets. Mm -hmm. uh, and we want to see Shaft and Superfly right over there. All right. No one, no one is okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's four of us because me and my little brother we're in the, we're in the back seat of the trunk. So. <laughs> It's so funny. Yeah. So what do you have moving forward and for things that you can see that you pretty much, let's say, like in the fall, right? Because mm -hmm. I think maybe summertime things may be kind of like postponed or, or canceled, something. Yeah, yeah. But well, for you, what do you have lined up? What are some things that you have lined up? 
Well, here's what's happening so far. So far, I've, I'm, I've already gotten two, I have two of my shows that were scheduled, two, two shows that were scheduled for March and April mm-hmm. have, have now been rescheduled for August. I do know that I have one of my shows, one show that was scheduled for April is now being, I'm trying to think, yeah, it's being rebooked for August the 18th. So okay. August the 18th, I'll be in Santa Barbara, California. And uh, this is going to be with, this is an old school concert. I love, I love doing those type of shows. It's, I don't know if you remember, do you remember Stevie B? Yes, I do. Stevie B, Mellow yes. Man Ace, uh, Rodney, yes. o, uh, Rodney o and Joe Cooley. That's all old school. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be on that show. That show, we, had, we, were, we were supposed to have done that show last month. So that's been rescheduled for August the 18th. Uh-huh. Uh, I know I do have one concert coming up July the 18th, and I just talked with the agent for that show. They're, they're supposed to call me back because that might be postponed. That's going to be in Richmond, Virginia. I'm scheduled to open for Jeffrey Osborne. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, so we, we'll see what, I don't know what's going on with that, but as of right now, that's still on, but we'll see, you know, in case they do postpone it. Uh, August the 8th, I know August the 8th right here in Los Angeles, I'll be with Cam. Uh, it's a big funk fest at the Greek Theater, the world famous Greek Theater. It's going to be more stay in the time. The SOS band, uh, Zap, uh, original the original Lakeside, fantastic oh, wow. voice, fantastic voice Lakeside. I want to say y'all, Brown Peoples are on that show. Uh, who did y'all? Don't stop the music and also the Mary Jane Girls. So, okay. and then I know I have another. I have some other stuff later on in the year because some shows that I have that's already been booked for later and later the later part the latter part of the year. Mm-hmm. They're already still. I think they're already still scheduled as is. So we're gonna see what happens. Hoping I don't know. Well, I hope they'll get this under control because we're ready to work. We're, no, we're ready here. to perform, and we're ready to have you over here in Hawaii. Yeah. But I'm tell tired. us about. <laughs> I'm tired of going out in the street panhandling. I've been panhandling a couple of times. You know, people drive by. Jay, is that you? What you doing out here? <laughs> well, good. Take this five. I'll be right back. I'll, you want something from McDonald's? You know, they'll go get McDonald's. I'm I'm, I'm on the street corner right here. Yeah, just give me that. Yeah, give me that five dollars right there. You know. No, I bet no. You better not see me out there, no. <laughs> so tell us about your your album, Celebrate, as well. Celebrate, yes. Yeah, matter of fact, this is my hard copy CD right here, up, and it's got Celebrate on here. Okay. Um, we just put these out because most of my music is streaming on all outlets like mm-hmm. iTunes, Spotify, CD Baby, uh, Apple Music, but we have a hard copy here. So I've been uh, urging all my fans and friends if they'd like to get a copy uh, of this CD, they can order my. Uh, I have it right here. Order my mm-hmm. new live comedy DVD right there. See, I'm doing an infomercial right now. Go ahead, do it, live, do it. Get the new do live it. comedy DVD right here. <laughs> and if you order right now, order now that phone right at the bottom of the screen. 1 800, I don't know what it is. 1 800, I don't know what it is. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but this is my DVD, and we'll put the uh, CD along with that and we'll send it right off to you. So uh, I've got that. And of course, uh, my website, if I can give that out or. Or, yes, yes. Do whatever uh, you have to do. Give your yeah. website, your cash app, whatever it is you have to do. Oh, glory. I can give it all. Yes, oh, oh, yes. Okay. give it okay. out. Give okay, it my, out. my bank account number is <laughs> no, no, never mind, never mind. No, we ain't gonna do that. No, but <laughs> no, my website, my website, if you want to get my DVD and CD is uh www.thejlamont.com. That's uh T H E. J A Y L A M O N T. And of course, if you'd like to send a blessing or whatever, I mean, trust me, it would greatly be appreciated. My cash app is dollar sign human iPod, since that's what they call me. Dollar sign H U M A N I P O D. And my Venmo uh, is Jammin Lamont, J A M M I N L A M O N T. And there you have it. See, you you, you heard it right here on the Hawaii. Help a brother out. Help a brother out. If you have not heard, if you have not seen or heard, Jay, um, especially for those of you that are here in Hawaii, we're making sure we're. I, I need to get with you know management and figure out when we're going to bring you over here. You know, <laughs> to, reschedule, to, re- to reschedule you here. I'm still back <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stop. No, don't stop. Because th- this is this is what you know. It makes it fun. This is a fun interview right here. Um, but um, um, one thing that I do ask, and I ask of all my artists, comedians, comedians, jazz artists, whoever, for people or people that are in your industry, comedian, music, whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. What suggestions do you have for them? What you know in this industry, because it's hard to make it, just like now, you know? Yeah, 
it's yeah. hard to make it. But what insight can you give or what suggestions can you give well, artists now? I've always said, I, 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 you know, I think about what was told to me at the time when I started in this game is always have something, have a plan B. I've always mm -hmm. been told that even in this game, even in this business, you know, have a plan B and have a plan C. Okay. Uh, be serious about what you want to do and just be prepared. Be well prepared and have fun. Have fun with this. Because one thing I can say about this uh, this business, and I've been in this business for, all, for all, over 20 some years. I love what I do. Mm -hmm. I think anybody as far as entertainment will tell you, I love what I do. And, it, and, it's, and the greatest blessing is to do what we love and to make a living at it. Even though we're in this pandemic situation, we cannot make a living right now. And the fact that, you know, we're staying faithful, we're doing what we can. That's why I said, like I said, I, I, I quickly be, you know, started thinking, what other, what other avenues could I utilize to try to make some type of income? And I've done it. So basically, just be prepared, have a good time, but, but uh, just know that there is a plan B uh, that you have to put on, on the side just in case. And just okay. go for it. Mm -hmm. Well, before we go, because our time is ending, it's ending. Very <laughs> but before we go, I'm just wondering, have you uh, talked to our former president, Barack Obama? Oh, Lord, I miss him. You just had to say that name. I, I miss did. him. And that's right. He's from Hawaii. I he's from about Hawaii. That. Yes. Well, I'm sure. See, I, you know, I, I can see him looking like this. Oh, I'm telling you right now. I cannot believe. What an honor it is to sit here before you, Gwen, and I love you. And of course, you know, Michelle, my girl, Sasha and Malia, they ask about you all the time. They say to me, Dad, see that looks, Dad, what can we do to get to Gwen? What can we do to get to Hawaii? Notice I said Hawaii. Now, some people, there are some people that don't know how to pronounce Hawaii. Some will say Hawaii. Others will say Hawaii. I had one guy who came to me and said, I understand that you are from Hawaii. So, you know, but the fact of the matter is, is that I'm glad to be here. I cannot wait to get back over to the islands because that is my home. Let me say to all the homies and the homies, aloha. And, and the hood will say, aloha, my brother. <laughs> Throw your hands up in the air, wave them like you just don't care. The roof is on fire. <laughs> the roof is, I remember, you know, Gwen, when I was in the White House, I remember I, saw, I, I, I told Vice President Joe Biden that the roof was on fire. <laughs> and he thought I was going to burn the White House down. I was just excited. I was just excited that I was getting out the White House. Me and Michelle, matter of fact, we went to the bar on the last day of my presidency. We went to the first bar and got let. You notice how I did. We got let. And then, you know, how, how, how do you folks say, turn down for what? All We're going right. to get turned up. <laughs> turned up. All right, I took, I don't know how many drinks I took, but I'm, I cannot get back to Hawaii. Honolulu. Honolulu, Hawaii. <laughs> Then I'm going to go to Hilo. I'm going to go to Waikiki. I like how he says it. Waikiki. And then I'm going to go to Hilo. And then I'm going to go come back to Honolulu. All right, Jay. Well, and you, you have me cracking up so much. Thank oh, you so much. I appreciate you, love. Thank, thank you. you so much for being here. Thank um, you so much. With us today. Um, yes. Good luck to you. I'll be keeping track of you. Please um, do. Most definitely. Be checking right. in on you. All right. Oh, yeah. And also, let me let everybody know, if you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Jam and Jay Lamont. Just spell it all the way out on all social media. All right. You heard that, everyone. Well, aloha. Thank you so much, Jay. Thank you, love. Thank aloha. You. Aloha. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And until next time, God bless. <laughs>